What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to quit out of Hyperspin or any other program if it's frozen or if it seems like it's frozen. The first thing I'm going to say is just give it a minute. You know, I've seen programs on Windows sometimes take even up to a minute where it just completely freezes and after that it comes back. It's better to do that than trying to hold on the power button or something and then risking corrupting your file system. And if you ever have to use the power button, is definitely always better to tap the power button instead of holding it down. Tapping the power button will initiate a correct shutdown sequence instead of abruptly just cutting the file system or, or I should say Windows and uh, you know risking corrupting the file system. So with that out of the way, uh, we can take a look at the old control alt delete and I'm going to leave a cheat sheet in the description that has all of these options listed but here is control alt delete you can over here on the right corner you have a nice option to restart or shut down and you can access the task manager and here you'll usually find a program that is not responsive it'll say not responding next to it you can right click it to end task and that'll kill that program. Let's say you did that to Hyperspin. You don't have to go back into Windows or anything. You know, if you were to do that, you'll get a back black screen on my systems because I don't load Explorer in the background. So instead of having to go out to Explorer, restart or anything like that, you can just go to File, Run New Task, type in HS, click OK, and that is gonna start Hyperspin right back up for you. Now that is something that is available only on my systems. It is something that I set up custom. It's not something that's gonna work for everybody out there. Another shortcut you can actually access from here is RL, and that is going to start up Rocket Launcher. So if I do that now, you'll see that Rocket Launcher starts right up. You can also start up uh, Hyper HQ by typing HQ, and if you guys ever need to uh, start up TeamViewer for a remote session and the toolkit isn't working, you can go ahead and do it from here as well. And you can go to File, and you can go to type in TV and that'll start up team viewer as well so if you want to get right to the task manager like you don't want to bother with this blue screen here when you press Control alt to delete you can actually press Control shift escape and that will take you straight into the task manager and other than going in here and right clicking and doing end task you always have your old alt f4 so if i were to do that now alt f4 it just completely kills hyperspin now remember if you have a keyboard like a logitech k400 that has an fn key you always want to hold down fn then do alt f4 so to show you guys i'm just going to go into Control shift escape and make believe i just killed hyperspin because it was frozen you can go to file run new task type in hs click ok and it'll load right up now remember that this would be during normal operation when you quit hyperspin you would just have a black background no icons or anything you can do that to start it right back up and before you guys even try any of this stuff i should have probably said this in the beginning a lot of times when hyperspin seems like it's frozen it's not actually frozen, it's just lost focus. So to simulate that, if I alt tab to, let's say the task manager, you can see that in the background, hyperspin is, is just solid, it's not moving. So basically, it's because it doesn't have focus. If I click on it, then there you go, you got focus back again. Now, the bad thing is when this happens during normal operation, a lot of times the program that takes focus away is not visible. So you'll only see hyperspin and if you try to scroll up and down it won't respond well the simplest thing you can always try before anything else is to click the screen anywhere so use your mouse or your trackball and just simply click on the screen like that and i bet you that will get you focused right back and you can use hyperspin again you can also try to hold on alt and then press tab and then just tab over to hyperspin it doesn't matter if you don't see any other programs simply holding down alt tab will get focused back to hyperspin if those things don't work, then you can try the other methods. Last thing I wanna show you guys is some rocket launcher shortcuts. So that would be Shift and the X key or Shift and the Z key. Shift X is gonna give you mouse cursor control. The mouse cursor is usually hidden so that you do not see it, but if you need control and you wanna use it, you can do Shift X and the mouse cursor will appear. I'm gonna show you that really quickly. Let's go into MAME. And let's start up 1944. If I move my mouse, nothing happens. But if I press Shift X, there's my mouse. If I press Shift X again, it hides it. I'm gonna quit out of this. 
you can also use Shift Z. And what that will do is it will kill Rocket Launcher.exe. So real quick, Rocket Launcher.exe starts up anytime you launch a game. If you launch a game and the game quits out on you without you telling it to quit, it freezes, something like that happens, you can press Shift Z and that will kill Rocket Launcher.exe. If you don't do that, next time you go to try to start a game after that crash, the next game will not start because Rocket Launcher.exe is probably still running in the background. So Shift Z one, two, three times, do that and then try a game. And if it works, you're good. You can always sh check in the Control Shift Escape and make sure that Rocket Launcher.exe is nowhere to be seen in here if you're not running a game. And if it is, right click it, End Task, and then close out and you're back here in Hyperspin. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for this one. Hopefully that is helpful and I'll catch you guys on the next one.